Hey guys, this is CJ Rhodes from AudacitySupport.com and today I'm going to show you how to mess around with the amplification settings. And this, I know you see off to the side right here, your plus and minus for your volume on Audacity. You can adjust it like that. That's not the true way that you really want to adjust your volume for your outcome with your audio tracks. That's just for you to hear and to make a few things stand down and stand up but that's not really how you want to amplify a track if the tracks just not strong enough now I made this song right here yes I am a musician as well and this right here as you see if you look at the blue you see the wavelengths everywhere on the track as you see it doesn't go to the edge of these parameters right here if you see what I'm saying to the edge of the the gray area it doesn't extend that way and that's how you know how kind of how, how loud the song might be. If you get the song in there and it looks like a real little thin line and those wavelengths are not fully to the edge of the uh, of the track, then you know the song is probably going to be pretty low in volume. Now you could, like I said, go over there and mess around with your volume and bring it up, but that's not how you really want it to do it professionally. If you really want it to come out the way the song is supposed to be heard and you want to use your amplification settings up here in your effects and we're going to take a look at that right now now my whole song you see it's not it's not too weak but it's not coming to the edge of my parameters right here so if you don't understand what I'm talking about I'll show you watch alright I'm gonna select my entire song over here on the left click your gray area to select your whole track if you don't know how to do that and we're gonna go up here to the effects you go down here to your amplify click amplify and right here audacity pops up now audacity the little dragger right here you can drag will automatically be on the decibel level that audacity predefines that it should be at if it's not loud enough or if it's too loud and as you see audacity is telling me that I need to bring my song up to about three decibels right there well you can adjust it to more or you can adjust it to less you don't always have to do what the program recommends you to do but they're usually right also that I have had times when I've used the recommended settings that they suggested and it made the song extremely too loud so don't rely on it too much but when you do want to amplify your song or make it louder go into it to these settings right here so it's telling me that I want to go up three decibels so I'm I'm pretty sure that that's going to be pretty good right there for this song right here if not a little more it's only because of maybe you see these little wavelengths that are a little bit longer than the others it will only go to what the longest wavelength is saying that the song is is able to go up to and I don't know if you understand what I'm saying but watch I'll show you right quick if it's saying we want to go up three decibels I'm gonna say okay Now Audacity amplifies the song to the recommended settings and there you go you see how it jumped up you see the wavelength those longest wavelengths now those are touching the edge right there those are the only ones touching the edge and if the songs not consistently thick with the, all the wavelengths throughout the whole song then it will only go to the edge of the of the decibel level with your longest wavelength so you might need to trim down some of your wavelengths also if you made the song or there's problems with your song and stuff I'll show you that in another tutorial how to use your drawing tool up here how to go in and draw them down so that everything will fit the way it's supposed to in there well we just amplified it and it brought it pretty good to the settings that we want it to um, obviously you didn't hear it before we can uh, undo real quick and as you see it went back to the the, the the lesser volume that we had it at before now let's play that real quick okay alright you hear the song it sounds fine to you right but 
is not loud enough and they do make other programs audacity does not have anything to tell you the exact decibel level but there are standards that it needs to be at for tracks that you that you produce like in all studio environments anybody who's making whether it's sony records or you in your in your house you want you want your decimal levels to be the same wavelength as someone who is professionally making a song that just makes you stand out it shows that you know what you're doing just that much more so we're going to redo those amplify effects that we did go to amplify hit ok because it's back on the same thing I'm just going to bring that amplification back up like we just did and now it's a little bit louder let's play it now Okay, that sounds good to me right there. That's pretty good. The song, just from my experience, as I look at it, it looks pretty thick. It's pretty full. More songs will look different with different instruments and different things. It just depends on the song. The wavelengths will always look different on every single song. So some songs will look thick all the way through. They won't be choppy like this. You won't see little lines like this as much. Maybe a song will look even more chopped up. It will have very few thickness to it and you might be saying why is it doing that or why does it look like that it's just because different songs have different instruments in them and the instruments produce different wavelengths at different times that's why but that's pretty much how you amplify it the correct way don't ever come over here and use this just to amplify the song to make it louder to, like if your mp3 file was not loud enough and you came in here and you came to the side over here just to drag it up to amplify it a little bit more it's not the same type of amplification and depending on how loud you bring it up it can make the song kinda start to deteriorate just a little bit and have poor quality and you do not want that that's why you want to go to your effects menu and to your amplification to correct the amplification the right way and make the decimal level the right way it's supposed to sound I hope you got a lot out of this tutorial be sure to check out audacitysupport.com for more. And also, if you guys need any tracks to play around with, any beats, any songs, I will be posting them shortly. Depending on when you see this video, there will be some up soon. So be sure to check out audacitysupport.com. And thank you guys for watching.